Hi there and welcome back to Champions of Grin. I'm Baron and the party is still in throttle. And we should probably move on because we are looking for Caramon who was leading a party in here and um, is missing in action since then. So we um, continue. On second thought, maybe Kobe Tai the Thief should be the active character. Just in case we stumble across a trap. Monsters attack. No shit. Okay, that's not too dangerous, I hope. You delay. You yell. You delay. You delay. You cast the sleep in here. Everybody is asleep now. I think you're going down, my dear Hobgoblin lead. Oh, that's not possible, actually. It's too far away. Well, I should be able to... Yeah. Oh, well. And victory. Oh, all 31 experience points is not really that much. What can we take? The loot sucks. No, I don't want it. But a oh, battle that has been won is always a good reason to save. So we move on. You should try to pick it. Didn't work. How about you try again? This time it worked. You attacked by a flight of arrows from the north. Kobitai is hit for 5 points of damage, Therawites is hit for 2 points of damage. I don't like that. How about we encamp and fix that? Thank you. Moving on. A soldier approaches and wants to parlay. He explains his presence here and you record it as journal entry 35. <laughs> I was with a party of knights and others under Caramon that came in here to explore. We haven't really found anything. Caramon's already left to report. I guess you must have missed him. Oh, one thing we did find out was that there is a treasure left over from the previous occupants of Throttle. We got word of it from a hobgoblin who was sneaking in to claim it. Before he died, he told us that it was located in the south central area of the city. Tell you what, if you help me find this treasure, I'll split it with you, alright? No, I hardly believe we missed Caramon. He's probably in trouble and you are probably lying. Do you allow him to join your party? No. The soldier says, I'm sorry to hear that, and signals. Apparently, his friends come to... Hmm, fight us. Okay. Sleep. Let's cast it here and see who falls asleep. Ah, sadly, it didn't work on the mage. Ah, well. Uh, not on the mage, on the warrior. Apparently, he saved. How do we do that? I don't wanna. 
put you asleep. I can't do it apparently. Oh well. Fine, we lose the spell. I hate you. What? What? I thought I lost the fucking spell. Oh, damn. Fuck. They're all helpless. Let them stay that way. Aim, no manual, move. Shit. You should yell. You delay, you move on. I don't care. You move on. You move on. Okay, I'm going here. Ready your quarter stuff. And start slaying. You also ready your quarter stuff. Good thing they all are asleep. Um. Actually, the mage is too close to the warrior. He will get in an attack, but Servites will be able to handle that. Okay. Fuck you. The warrior has a truckload of XP. So you cast the magic missile on him. You delay. You move up a bit and attack. Great. What do you have? You have a sleep. You could try it. You never know. Maybe it works. No, it doesn't work. Fine, magic missile. You delay. Okay, now you move.
and try to backstab. Great, didn't work. Awesome. Wait, do you still have a spell? No. You delay. And missed again. Your backstabbing abilities leave some things to be desired. The only one that actually comes through is the mage. <laughs> How can you miss at backstabbing? Apparently, he has a very small bag. The uh, soldier will probably surrender, and I will not get any XP for him. Oh, now, now Kobita actually came through. You delay. One more hit point, please. Just he surrenders. <coughs> Fuck. No, I hate you. Only 160 XP. Shit. Fine, what do we get? Ooh, plate. That's good. The rest, not so much. Okay, and Randy Spirits is awake again. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to put you to sleep. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So you trade that. No, you keep it. You still have six movements and an armor class of minus two now. That's very good. No, I don't want to go back. How about um, we encamp, we fix, we save. No, I will not quit. Maybe we should get a few spells. You didn't lose any, did you? No. But the mages did? Oh, dang it. One sleep and... No, not read missile. Magic. Uh, sleep and magic missile, please. Thank you. Oh. Genevieve Jolie actually gets her bonus spells. Awesome. Anything for you? No. So we will rest for five hours. That worked. Oh, great. Another copy protection. A rule book. That's a new one. Two beginning to play and eight. Okay, um, let's see. Mm, page two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Must be load. Let's try this. It is load. Very well. So, how about we move on? Monsters attack. Oh, great. Fine. Apparently it's rats. Yeah. Oh! Those thingies uh, actually can poison you. So we should tr try to take them out first. Giant centipede. Great. Do we 
have more of those. Yeah, there are a few more here. How can you miss a rat? Yelling doesn't work against animals. How do you insult an animal? You gotta be kidding me! Ow, oh, I hate you. Thanks. Victory. <laughs> 31 experience points. What do we get? Nothing apparently. Great. So how about we encamp? Fix. Save. And um, move on. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, I think... No. Move, please. We should head downwards. You see a broken sword on the floor, really. Let's take a look. Nothing. What do we have here? Oh, that's interesting. You try to pick that. It works. And um, we save. No, I will not quit. Exit. No, exit. Not R. Search. We go into search mode and move on. Uh, rocks fall from the ceiling. Rekaldorian is hit for 5 points of damage. Boo. Sylvia Saint and Zerobites are hit and Genevieve Jolie also hit. Not funny. Um, sometimes your thief is able to um, disarm this trap. I will try to get that to work. Okay. Next try. You have found a trap. You have already triggered the first part. If you move the trap will be sprung. Who will attempt to disarm it? Kobe Tai will. Ah shit, and it still didn't work. Okay, next try. You have sex successfully uh, disarmed trap and Kobe Tai gains experience. Hell yes. Thank you. How about we save again? Because that actually was tricky. So you... No. Oh, we should um, quit the searching. Because if you m move around while you search, it always takes you 10 minutes to move on. And if you do not search, it only takes you 1 minute to move on. But then again, um, I don't really think that time is a factor in here. I mean... If you take a look at the characters, they do have an age. Uh, but as far as I know, the only way to increase the age is by using magic. Maybe there's uh, traps that will age them or spells that will age them. There certainly is the haste spell that ages a character one year. It makes the spell almost useless, at least in my eyes. Because, well, take a look at, f at our main characters. We have uh, our main fighters. We have Rekel Dorian, a knight. She's 22 years old. If I would cast like 60 hastes on her, that's just 60 battles, it's not really much. Then she would be too old to continue adventuring. And it's pretty much the same with Randy Spears. He's 74. Now the dwarves get older, maybe I could get a uh, 100 hastes on him and he would still be okay, but mm, I don't know. If you well, if you want to use lots of haste spells, then you should probably create elven fighters because well, the age of an elf doesn't really matter, does it? Okay, let's move on into the southern direction. Akanda gets up from setting a trap. He grins, and you record his remarks as journal entry eighty-two.
So, at last you've come to rescue me. You know these things are quite clever, not clever enough for me, of course. I've just been improving them somewhat. Oh dear, I do hope you didn't come through from the north. Oh, sorry. I suppose you'll be wanting to get me out of here now. Oh, there are more people back there. Strangburn is around here somewhere, he's looking for Caramon. Oh, you want to find him? Well, that's an interesting story, you see. When we first got together about two weeks ago, uh, I can help you, you know. Caramon was taken somewhere south of here. I've been trying to reset traps in case more draconians and hobgoblins get here. Why don't we team up, okay? Do you allow him to join your party? Yes, I do. Let's take a look at him. Kildriff. A candle, 25 years old, level 3. Thief. Doesn't have anything except the hoop pack. Then you should ready that. And uh, maybe we should change the order a bit. Level? What does level mean? Oh, it is a difficulty. Okay, I'm playing on veteran apparently. It seems to be average. Let's leave it at that. Speed. Four. Seems to be okay to me. Okay, order. You should move up here. Thank you. Uh, maybe you should save. No. Okay, take a look at the map. Where do we want to go? Um, oh, really? So we should search again. Oh, great. Another trap. Well, let me try that again then. Okay, next try. Okay, Covid I gains experience. Very well. How about we save again? And, um, yeah, we should stop searching. Move on. A knight of Solamnia approaches. He introduces himself as Larsen Strangborn and says that he is looking for Karamon, his commander. And you recorded as General Entry 67. I was with the patrol that followed Karamon in here. We ran into trouble almost immediately. We were not really expecting much opposition, but we were ambushed by a large force of hobgoblins and draconians. I was knocked out by a blow to the head early in the battle. I awoke in a dark corner. It took me a while to get my bearings, but I finally went out in search of my companions. I overheard from passing patrols that everybody except Caramon was killed. You must help me find Caramon. He must not be allowed to fall into the hands of the leaders of this band. Okay. Do you want him to join you? Hell yes. Strangeburn asks you about Sir Carl. After hearing your answer, he hesitates and then tells you a story and you record it as journal entry 7. I'm gonna read a lot of journal entries in this game. Listen, Sir Carl is the most honorable of men. I would follow him anywhere. But there is something very dark and strange going on about him. He seems obsessed with a young girl named Maya. The fact that he's about 40 years older than she isn't she is isn't really the problem if they just settle down and declare themselves all that would happen is that a few gossips will snicker and that'll be the end of it but they won't do that maya is extremely valuable to us she has sources of information that are astounding especially for one so young but whenever the two of them are in the same room the tension is so obvious that nah never mind you say he seems to be all right i will go on that hope and let troubles find me on their own good time Let's go. Okay, so we have another party member. We should take a look at him. Strangeborn is a Knight of the Crown, level 4. 20,000 experience points. Holy shit, what does he have? Shield, plate mail, and longsword. Nothing too fancy about that, but we should change the party order again. You go up here. You go down here. 
This sucks. Stay where you are, for fuck's sake. This is how I wanted to do it. Okay. Very well. So, let's move on. Let's take a look at the area. Okay, I get it. So we go in here. And from here we go down there. The room is filled with old scrolls that are that crack and crumble in your hands. Most of them are evil. No shit. Monsters attack. Draconians. Well, you yell. That worked nicely. You should cast the sleep in um, here, I think. You should also cast the sleep in here. Oh well. So, who is helpless? You're too far away, apparently. Okay, you move. Oh, this one isn't helpless, apparently. Oh, heh, my mistake, you should move a little bit closer. He surrenders. And we get some experience out of that. Very well. What do we get? We get money. 15 steel coins. And what else? Nothing that we really need. No, I will not go back and reclaim it. The party has found treasure. Each character receives 100 experience points. So what could we take here? A red scroll. That's awesome. You take that. Thank you. And here we have... A white scroll. May you take that too. Who took it? Oh, girl. Give it to Genevieve, shall we? Okay, that worked nicely, I think. So we should head upwards. Strangborn stops you. Wait! He cries. There is a trap here. He sets it off harmlessly. That's nice. Thank you. Um, okay. How about we um, save? No, I will not quit. You could try and cast a bless spell. And now we actually move on. 
A trap door opens from above and evil forces drop on you. Okay. You move ahead. And cast a sleep. Oh, damn it. Pass it here. Um, you should move. can't walk through that. The problem is we have to attack them to keep them from casting. Cast a magic missile on him. Okay, what could you do? You can't cast anymore. Could you? Yes, you can. How could you miss? Can you still cast? Yes, you can. Then cast the magic missile on him. you okay I don't hate you so much right now you could still cast a magic missile and take out the mage Okay. Is anybody helpless? No. So, you move on back. Why do you keep missing? This is not nice. Thank you. Manual. Close the distance somewhat. Did you yell? Okay.
I think if you are closer, you have a better chance of hitting. <laughs> Doesn't seem to matter though. Thank you. There goes another one. So, what do we have? Oh, he surrendered. And the last one died. 199 experience points. What do we get? Money apparently, 25 steel coins. Thank you very much. Um, what else? Daggers, chainmail. Okay, the daggers go to Zero Whites. The rest probably isn't magical. So you join them. Okay, so this has been quite a long video, that means I will take a break here and um, continue next video. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon.